Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, so we are doing so good on Amazon that they have now given me my official Amazon Direct store link. So if you guys wanna sip on some tea with your girl and continue supporting this channel, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. If you are an Amazon Prime member, you guys can now go directly to amazon.com backslash shops backslash lovely tea and there you will find all of my tea all of my tea accessories so make sure you guys purchase something so you guys can sip this piping hot tea with me so thank you so much for not only supporting this channel but also support my tea line and support me on amazon please don't forget to leave a review thanks and enjoy the video so i want to come on here and talk about the whole sway lee situation okay so for y'all who don't know who sway lee is sway lee is one half of ray sherman so what happened is that last night he was performing at a concert and he was hit in the face with a phone. I mean, this entire situation is crazy, but let me go ahead and bring this back, okay? So the whole phone situation has started with Drake. If you guys don't know, Drake is currently on tour and a lot of his fans who are, you know, in the front fucking row have been sliding their phones on stage to Drake and Drake has been picking up phones and, you know, rapping in them and taking selfies and, you know, doing little shit for his fans, okay? But the difference between Drake fans and this dusty broke, you know what I'm saying, Ray Shermer fan, is that the Drake fans who put their phones on the on the stage with Drake, they had money. They were right there in the front row, so they could just easily take their phone and place it nicely on the stage in hopes that Drake would pick up the phone and, you know, sing to their phone or do something, right? But this damn broke, dusty bitch, she's in the nosebleeds, okay? And instead of using common sense and saying, well, you know what, I couldn't really afford to be that close to the stage, so you know what I mean? I'm not gonna be able to put my phone on there and slide it over to Sway Lee. So instead, she decides to have this grand idea that she's going to chuck her goddamn iPhone or Android, whatever the damn phone she damn had, okay? She decides to chuck it from the damn nosebleed section onto the stage, and instead of it hitting the stage, it hit Sway Lee dead in the face. It ended up chipping one of his teeth. His whole face was bleeding. He was hot, okay? When I tell you he was hot and justifiably so. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video of Sway Lee going off. Go ahead and check this out. And I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Broken. 
Now we got nerves. Nerves just came out, bro. I just came out from this shit. Ask him, leave it or keep it. Leave it or keep it. Should I keep the country look? Or should I get it uh, fixed? Leave it or keep it. Y'all tell me. Snapchat, I'm counting on y'all. Put a phone on stage. Yeah. Fuck my whole lip up. My whole face up. I'm about to sue. I ain't never thought I would have to sue a fan. I'm about to start to sue a fan. I'm gonna go to the fucking hospital. Cause my lip looks like 16 niggas fucking jumped on me. I'm suing. I'm suing. My million dollar face, bro. I'm suing. Shit, man. How the fuck would you throw a phone on stage like a baseball? I'm here to fucking perform for y'all. You sitting there doing shit on stage like a best guy. Honey, Sway Lee is hot. He was screaming that he's about to sue the fan. He was going off on her. Okay, so this entire situation is crazy. Like I always tell y'all, common sense is just not so common, okay? The difference between Drake fans and this Sway Lee fan is the fact that these people had front row tickets. They were literally right next to the stage. They could touch Drake's shoe, his ankle, and if their arms were long enough, they could probably grab his damn junk, okay? Anyhow... They had common sense to place the phone on the stage. This fucking dusty bitch that's way, way back in the nosebleeds decided to chuck her damn phone at Sway Lee, causing all types of damage. So he was very upset. Even last night he was upset. Well, now as of nine minutes ago, he's updated his Instagram page and maybe he had a talk with the fan or he realized that this fan is broken dusty and that she could barely afford to get goddamn tickets to come see his damn show, that it doesn't make any sense to sue her. So now he's saying that he's not going to sue her. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Sway Lee had to say. So Sway Lee says, busted tooth, busted lips, still perform my last song of my set. Felt like a WWE match. I came to put on a show and that's what went down. Show must go on. Sherm life, we pray. By the way, I'm not suing the young lady who threw the phone. I love. I know she didn't think it would bust my whole million dollar grill on my face that my mother gave me. I ain't suing. I'm gonna let the fan make it. Keep fucking with that Sherm life music. I know you got excited, man. Next time, if you want to take a picture, man, make eye contact. All right, so you guys just heard what I read, and you guys also saw Sway Lee's video once again confirming that he's not going to sue the fan. Now, I understand him not wanting to sue her because at the end of the day, she has no damn money, okay? If she had any type of money, she wouldn't be in the nosebleeds chucking fucking phones. She'd be right there at the front of the stage tapping on his foot and shit like that, okay? So, obviously, she has no money, so it doesn't make any sense for him to, you know, take this to litigation and to court. He would end up spending more money in court fees, you know what I'm saying, trying to sue this woman. And you can't get blood out of a turnip, okay? But my thing is this, what she did was assault. And he has every right to press charges on her. I don't know if he's going to press any criminal charges on her because pressing criminal charges, that's free, okay? So he has every right to press criminal charges on her because she had no business throwing that phone from that far away onto the stage, okay? You know, it's just sad, like I said before, common sense is not so common. You know, common sense will tell you if I throw this phone, what happens if he ends up walking in the path of the phone and gets hit? You know, that's what, that's what common sense should tell you. But because she's thirsty and she wants attention, she just thought, oh, well, let me go ahead and take my chances and ends up busting him in his damn face. You know what I'm saying? I miss the good old damn days when folks just went to damn concerts. They didn't slide phones on stage trying to be attention whores and trying to get attention from the artists. They didn't throw phones on stage. They just threw damn panties and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They just sat there and watched the artist. They took some video and that was it. It's like, can we go back to, you know, just allowing the artist to perform and, and be there for everybody and, you know, entertain everybody and stop trying to make it about you? We live in such a me, 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 social media, look at me generation. The shit is fucking annoying. You know what I mean? The people sliding phones to Drake, they need to stop that shit because he's taking time away from other people who also paid for a ticket to pick up your damn cell phone and, and, and do a fucking jig, okay? B bitch, can we just watch Drake perform in concert? We don't want to see him pick up your cell phone. 
microphone and give you a special show. Just like at the Ray Sherman show, let Sway Lee do his thing. There was no need for this woman or girl, or whatever, to chuck her damn phone on the stage, okay? I'm so tired of all the attention horn. I'm so tired of folks trying to go viral. You went viral, all right. You made yourself look damn stupid by doing what the hell you damn did. And you're lucky that Sway Lee's a good person. He's not going to sue you. You know, like I said, most likely it's because she ain't got shit. But at the end of the day, she better hope that he doesn't press any type of criminal charges on her ass. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Sway Lee versus a fan and him coming out and now saying that he's not going to sue her. How do you feel about this new trend of fans, you know, putting their cell phones on stages, trying to get the artist's attention, trying to get the artist to do something on their cell phone? You know what I mean? Because now it's gone from, you know, people using common sense and just placing their phone on the stage to now people not having no fucking common sense and throwing their cell phones on the stage. And now it's hit an artist dead in the face. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys. It's your girl, T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.